Hello and welcome to the 2018-2019 Gibbs Newscast. My name is Dylan Cooper. And my name is Caitlin Kabotsky. And Beta College Tours are at the top of our news today. The first college tour for Beta students is right around the corner. On October 17th, we will be traveling to Florida Polytech University, Valencia College, and Florida Southern University. The trip is $20 and there are only 50 seats available for Beta students. Stop by the Beta office for your permission slip. Have you received a letter of consideration from the National Art Honor Society? If so, your completed applications are due by Monday, October 1st by 2 o'clock p.m. in Ms. Nagami's classroom, 5 to 12. Mr. Green is hosting a tour of Florida A&M University and Florida State University on Monday, October 1st. If you wish to join Mr. Green on this trip, please stop by his office to pick up a permission slip. The cost is $75 and it includes lunch and dinner. This weekend will be a warm one. On Saturday, the high is 91 degrees and the low is 77, with a less than a 20% chance of rain. On Sunday, the high is 90 degrees and the low is 77, with about a 40% chance of rain. On Sunday, September 30th, the USF St. Pete campus is hosting a college fair. The fair is from 1 to 3 and admission is free, so bring your friends and family to explore the possibilities of your future. Senior quotes are due by October 31st. Please see Ms. Seegers in the library during lunch. Also, if you have yet to take your senior photos, you have another opportunity on October 8th. The sitting fee is $15, and don't forget to buy your yearbooks. Up next, we have students and faculty voicing their opinions on standardized testing. on standardized testing is that if we had done less tests it would be better for us because the more tests we have the less interested we become and the less information we uh, seem to comprehend. Um, I think standardized testing has a place in public education. Uh, the problem is it's just done too much. We need less standardized testing. Uh, I believe with only a few tests we can still hold teachers accountable and the students can prove their, that they are learning. We just don't need as many tests as we have currently. My opinion on standardized testing. I do feel that um, standardized testing does serve a purpose uh, in the public education arena. I think it's important for us to check, uh, progress monitor, whether or not our students are getting the standards that we've set out to make certain that they get, depending on uh, their various benchmarks. My opinion on standardized testing is that I understand why it exists, I just think we have too many standardized tests. Yes, I do, but I believe that we shouldn't have so many tests on it as we do. So I think that teaching is a little, is an industry that is very over-regulated, uh, and because of that, people that aren't actually in the classroom want to dictate to teachers how to do their job. Teachers aren't trusted to be able to get the curriculum across. I do believe that teaching the standards allow for students to, to know the necessary information, particularly if uh, the standards, most, and most standards are targeted um, for the most essential or most crucial information. So yeah, I do. I think so, for sure. I do believe that teaching standards does allow students to learn all necessary information, at least for the tests. I believe taking standardized tests can affect a student in the long run by helping them keep the knowledge they have, learn, and use it for future reference. Whoa, um, completely different than my era. Taking a, a standardized test and the impact uh, is, is huge. Uh, let's just take, for example, FSA, which is the Florida Standards Assessment. Um, 10th grade students have to take and show proficiency on this in order for them to receive a high school diploma. I think a lot of times standardized tests, I understand that they are there to judge how much a student learns from a course, but a lot of times they just cause a lot of stress and panic towards the end of the year. Yes, I do believe standardized testing is broken because 
a lot more teachers are teaching for the students to memorize the information instead of learn it. Yeah, there's too much of it. There's, it is, standardized testing is broken because we do it too much. Do I think that standardized testing is broken? I don't think it's perfect. Let me say that. I do believe that there, there are some areas that could use a little more support. Um, but I do believe that we're headed in, the, in that direction. I don't think that standardized testing is broken, but I do think it could be better. I believe they should implement less standardized tests and have only one per semester instead of like two. I think this unfortunately really has to come from the state level. I think that we need to elect politicians that uh, maybe have a background in education and understand that uh, sometimes you can get you get the curriculum across better if you're not handicapping teachers by taking away their creative freedom. There are multiple things in, that I think the school, and it wouldn't be a school thing, I think it would be more or less a state thing. Um, so for one, smaller teacher to pupil ratio in the classrooms in my opinion, but that in and of itself doesn't solve the problem. I think making sure that when we're working with our teacher ed programs, that we're teaching our teachers, you mentioned earlier one of your questions was about the standard, making certain that our teachers are aware of what the standards are and what tasks and targets they can use to support students with getting there. Oh, I think that schools should make standardized tests less stressful. That's a wrap on this week in Gibbs News. See you later, gladiators. We hope you have a great weekend.